All right, guys, we're here. We got the L67. We're in the parking lot of Harbor Freight. We're going to get an engine stand so that we can stand the engine in Isaiah's garage. And uh, then we're gonna leave it there for about eight to uh, seven to eight years. It will stay in there forever. And then we'll never touch it again. It'll just take up space. And then after that, we'll actually do something with it. And it's actually interesting. This one came with uh, the Gen 3 fuel rails. So they look kind of nicer. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. I don't, I mean, those can easily be converted, so, but it's a returnless style, which the L67 has a return style, so I'll have to get it tuned probably for that. Uh, but besides that, everything is good. It turns, the crank's fine. Everything's pretty good. It's missing a pulley, but everything should be cool. We're going to refresh some stuff before we put in the Camaro and put, you know, do some things to it on it obviously take the supercharger off. I'm going to be putting on my extra supercharger and giving this to uh, another F-Body owner, Austin, one of his good buddies. And uh, I'm going to be putting mine on. Mine already has an aftermarket uh, hub because these are press-ons. So uh, the hub's already pressed on. So you can just uh, actually just use Allen screws and bolt a new supercharger pulley, a, a lower one, onto the motor. And it makes it really easy. But uh, yeah, We'll see you guys after we get home with the uh, engine stand. Hey guys, um, so we just actually went to go pick up the new 3800 series uh, motor. Um, Tristan just got it, a uh, guy who's actually super friendly. Um, so we just threw it in the back and we're gonna go and pick up a uh, en or whatever, what's it engine called? stand. Engine stand, thank you. Um, and we're gonna get it set up in our garage um, and we're gonna start working on it. You know, this engine, we strapped it in such a professional way that it's really going nowhere. We did such a good job. Yeah, because someone forgot to bring extra straps. Yeah. We only got we only have one strap. Guy guy insane. guy with the truck. Uh, forgot uh, forgot. No, I brought the no, truck and the got... engine hoist. Fuck off. <laughs> but you didn't bring a chain for it. Bitch. Which is got, a problem. We're you gonna... have bolts, it's got fucking and loops uh, for it. Yeah, but mm, we need some alright, we'll figure it out. We'll uh, we'll come back to you once we uh, once we get home with the motor. So uh, catch you then. All right, guys, we're here with the new motor. Yeah. It is be... cold. It is really, 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 really cold. Yeah, I want to cool. be done with this already. Yeah. So we're gonna strap it up here, and then we we have a new engine uh, stand set up, and we just got so it we're looks gonna so pretty. store it in here, and uh, yeah, we'll have this all set for you. See ya. All right, Dave is here. We're uh, lifting up the engine now. We got it all chained up, and we're gonna lift it backwards and get uh, it on that mount. It's doing against the snout. Make sure it's not it. it should help once it gets it kind of even. It should be fine. It's not gonna bend it. Hopefully, it doesn't bend it. It's Austin. It's Austin supercharger, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it That's such fair. a fuck thing to be like. <laughs> all right, well, we're, well, we're not looking to damage it, but hey, it's not. I'm gonna change the supercharger. Okay, we can just pull it back and uh, well, here. just drop the tire out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we see that. Then we can get this all mounted up on there for the stand and we will pull. see you when it's on the ground. Alright guys, we got the engine all set up on the stand. So this is probably where we'll be sitting uh, until we get all the parts that we're going to be putting into it. Uh, as far as I know, off the top of my head, we're going to be uh, putting in some long tube headers, a new cam. Uh, I'm not sure of the name, I'll probably put it in the description. Uh, we're going to be putting a uh, probably new intercooler on it, probably an inch uh, intercooler is probably all we'll fit on it, otherwise we'll be doing some meth injection. Um, probably port and polish the supercharger, get a smaller pulley. Um, we're going to be doing some valve train work as well with the new rockers and springs and uh, valves, so we'll see where that goes just for stage one. Um, otherwise, that's where it's going to be sitting for a while, then we will uh, catch you up later. Bye.